It's the PlayStation Home Review for August 2010. You could be outside enjoying those long August evenings, enjoying your summer outdoors, but you know what outside has? Mosquitoes. You know what PlayStation Home doesn't have? Mosquitoes. Say what you will about PlayStation Home. Call it a phenomenal waste of time, which it is, but at least you won't be attacked by mosquitoes while you're playing it. Unless you live somewhere where you have really crazy ass mosquitoes. Anyway, lots of new things in home this month. I unlocked a sombrero playing Red Dead Redemption. There's lots of new Star Wars themed outfits and stuff to put in your PlayStation home personal space and a replica cantina bar from the almighty Star Wars. Coming to your galaxy next summer. Oddly enough, I don't remember a theater being in the cantina bar scene. Maybe they cut that one out. This is a pretty kick-ass free environment to visit while in PlayStation Home, but there's no actual drinks on tap. I guess they don't serve our kind here. However, there is lively free entertainment and the ability to make unlimited Star Wars and Spaceball quotes to complete strangers and your friends. Compared to the other free environments in PlayStation Home, this is one of the better ones. It's, it's not as good as the bowling alley with the arcade machines, but it's close. It would be a lot better if they had virtual drinking games and vir virtual drinks. But the music and the atmosphere are terrific, and the fact that it's free makes it worth visiting at least once. Just check it out. You don't even have to tell anybody that you secretly enjoyed the cantina bar and the live entertainment, as well as all the people dressed up like maniacs, Sith lords, stormtroopers, and chicks in bikinis, who are probably actually guys sitting at home dressed up as stormtroopers. So what else is new? Well, being that this is the 30th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back, the greatest movie ever made, there's lots of new Star Wars things for sale in the LucasArts store in the mall. The cantina bar may be free, but dressing up like Chewbacca and Adat Driver or C-3PO is not. But it is cheaper than dressing up like them in real life. It's kind of like the virtual equivalent of playing with your Star Wars figures, which I'm doing right now. Check it out. So check this out, in addition to dressing up like the Snow Stormtrooper, which was always one of my favorite action figures, at the free location known as the Playground, which is pretty much useless, there is an item that you can buy called the Playground Boombox, which for a few bucks will pipe music into your personal space. Most of the music is random party tracks, and some of the songs are eerily similar to Cool and the Gang, Michael Jackson, and Salt and Peppa. And while I could always enjoy the music in my personal space, it did take a few tries before everybody else that I invited over could also hear the music. But one other feature that some people don't know about PlayStation Home, when you're in a personal space, you can chat with everybody else. With headset microphones, with real voices, not just words being typed on screen. So thanks to all the guys for hanging out and talking about video games and stuff. We found out that if you put a Dig Dug machine in the fire pit, it glows and turns into the golden Dig Dug machine of eternal promise. And like so many memorable evenings, it ends at the bar where I have the boombox in front of the tap handles so that everybody can enjoy it. Finally, music in PlayStation Home. With real microphones kicking with real human voices. I, I assume, I think all these guys are human. This is actually starting to feel like the PlayStation Home that we wished it would feel like, eventually. Each month they make small changes, I'm telling ya. Just don't add mosquitoes. If you have a PS3, I recommend you check it out. It's free. This review has shown some optional accessories, which do cost a few bucks, but you can enjoy home for free. All of the music in this review is from the boombox itself, which costs a few bucks. And while home is somewhat boring alone, it is best experienced with friends. 
So thanks again to everybody who joined me for this review. Thanks to everybody who's watching. I hope to see you in home in the future, standing next to a burning Dig Dug machine. Stop.